Welcome to the fourth and final night of X Games Aspen. We kick things off with a fun one. It's the Wendy's Men Snowboard Knuckle Huck. There's the names. This is who's competing in it. I like Marcus Cleveland. This event was kind of made for him, but unfortunately last year he could not compete in it due to shattering his kneecap. Yeah. Here, this year, it's a different story, Brandon. Such a bummer that injury happened literally a month before X Games. But he's in it now and he's healthy. But kicking things off, Yoazawa, the X Games rookie. Actually competed against him in the rail jam only a few hours ago. And he just attacks the course differently. We saw in the rail jam and in the slope style, Yo takes such unique lines through that rail section. Here, taking a very unique line, carving around the kicker, and then going on the heel side edge, front side 720. Yo there. just hits different. Yo just hits different. But so busy, as you said. He was in rail jam, he's in knuckle hook, he was in slope style eliminations, he was in big air. Four events for the X Games rookie. How about 16 year old Jake Cantor out of Silverthorne, Colorado? And we've got comments coming in from Wendy's. We're excited to watch some knuckle huck and say knuckle huck. Knuckle huck, knuckle huck, knuckle huck. Hashtag X Games. Yeah, Craig and I are going to be saying that quite a bit. <laughs> Just J be ready. Just be ready. Comment section, be ready. It's coming. Jake Cantor, AKA Sweet Baby Jake, because he's nice like that, has one of the best TikToks. If you're on TikTok, go ahead and follow Jake Cantor. Also follow the X Games TikTok. True. We got some fire. TikToks out here this week. Zeb Powell out of Waynesville, North Carolina, 20 years old, making his X Games debut. And that coffin to backflip? Oh, that is go. crazy. The photo cam is tough because he pushes so much snow up as he slides on his back there. Goes coffin slide, and then when he gets some look amplitude, at this. look at the yeah, full coffin slide. He's on his back, and then he just has to be patient, wait till he's in the air and finish that back. That's very cool. That looks a lot like the coffin slide I saw from you, partner, earlier today in the rail jam. Thank you very much. I try to put that down on the middle section here. Zeb backflipping out of it. Frank Bourgeois kills it in the streets. Three consecutive gold medals in our real snow contest. This is his first knuckle hunt. Big cat one backside rodeo all the way down to the very bottom. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you see that clock up top. That's been running throughout the entirety, but these athletes are judged on all of their runs. Right. It's not just one run, two runs. It's how you ride the session, and Frank puts down a hammer early. Overall impression is the name of the game, but we turn our attention now to Marcus Cleveland. As you said off the top, this event essentially made for him. Let's see what he's got on his first attempt. <laughs> the finesse it takes to have your nose just gently touching the snow for 20 feet and then pop a cap five. Look at him, he's just waiting on it. Here's what's crazy, Craig. He's got five medals and five appearances that include slope style and three silvers and big air. Yeah. He might, this might be the best thing that he does, yes. which is saying something because he's crazy good at everything. Honestly, give him a fall on inset and you'll see some amazing stuff. Also amazing stuff from this young man right here. Haldor Haugesson, welcome back to X Games. Oh my goodness. Board sliding that knuckle and then digging the toe edge in so he just does a massive front flip. I've mentioned Instagram many, many times, but Holder had a very, very nice post. We lost a young snowboarder, Jagger Bailey, and he dedicated this trick to him. Haldor won a big air gold medal in his first X Games appearance back in 2010. We haven't seen him in six years it's been here in Aspen. It's been a minute, but... He's been up to some crazy stuff, that guy. Rene Renekong is having himself a week here in Aspen. This is his fourth event that he's competing in here at X Games. Ooh. Oh, okay, okay, I see you. I see you. The way he wrestled that back, very Sage Kotzenberg, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost looked like he wanted to continue with the rotation. Craig's the hip. We're gonna get a great look at it. We should have asked. We had Sage Kotzenberg in the booth yesterday for the soap stop on. We should have asked if he wanted uh, maybe a late entry into this contest because I think he would do very well here. I agree. Well, it'd be tough though. This field is go. stacked. Let's go. Fridge, our defending knucklehawk winner, Friedhoff Sather Tischendorf, is what's on the birth certificate, but he goes by Fridge. We like saying it. 
He's a big boy. It's a very apt nickname. That was so sick. I cannot wait to see the slow-mo angle of that. The finesse it takes to just have the right amount of speed and the right amount of pops so your hand glides on that knuckle. Oh, you right said it, partner. Look at this. There. Hey, how you doing? Dripping in finesse. And he just holds it. Holds it the whole time. Here's our leader, Brandon. Zeb Powell. Zeb is short for Zebulon, by the way. Don't know if you knew that. I do now. Zeb still sitting atop the leaderboard. Oh! That was very, very sick. We saw Fridge last year do that backflip hand drag. Zeb doing the backside rodeo hand drag. So he initiates that backflip, sticks his hand out right at the right second. Take another look at this. Finds it, grabs it, then continues on with that 180 at the back. Zeb graduated last year from Stratton Mountain yeah. School in Vermont. So many ex-gamers coming through that program. Full mess of a full grip. So here's Frank Bourgeois. More comments coming in from Wendy's here. The Wendy's knuckle up and there you go, Frank. That 180 backside rodeo. But that's what I love about this event like and the rail five. jam that was earlier today is it's being able to bring out riders that you wouldn't traditionally see at X Games, whether it was Fridge, Frank, that's correct. Zeb. Yeah. It's really neat. Frontside 540 Miller flip there from Frank Bourgeois had did that trick in his real snow and that just melted minds. But I totally agree with you. You see different faces. I like to use this word. It's an eclectic group of individuals attacking this knuckle. And Marcus Cleveland just did a 1080. Good heavens. So, so there's that. There's that to talk um, about. Okay. Okay. Look, look at this. this torque. Oh, Nolly back 10? A back 10, and look how far he lands. All the way down this thing. A nolly back 10. Has anybody ever said that before on Earth? I don't think they have. He can that, spin. That was, a, that was a big air trick. That was. Actually, nolly back 10. Haldor Helgeson. We'll see if that bumps Marcus up. There's the board side front flip. Comes correct, run two. So crazy how he holds it and then, yep. Hi, how you doing? Goes really, he is going so fast because when you're sliding on the snow like that, it's slowing you down greatly. Over Helgeson. It's nice with the edges. So no movement up top as Zeb, Marcus, and Jake round out our top three. Could Rene change things up? Intentional. Intentional front roll from Rene. Ooh, and that turtle roll. We saw Mons Roisland who competed in this event last year. Did that turtle roll where you kind of lie on your back and could continue the rotation. Rene doesn't really put his back on the snow, but it's very, very low there. What is he going to do? I just have no idea. The stakes have been raised. Yeah. Zeb Powell is in this. Marcus yeah. Cleveland is healthy. It's, it's, dare I say, a, a stronger field here in 2020. Fridge is going to be on his game. Yeah. Left foot forward. Front one. Switch back Whoa. five. All the way down. Now, this is very reminiscent to the big air we saw. Nobody's falling. Everybody's just landing crazy tricks. It's like a video game. Something about this 6 2 frame doing things like this is just <laughs> so appealing. Just a tall drink of water. <laughs> These eyeballs. <laughs> And Fridge yes. jumping up into the top three. We're halfway through here in the Wendy's Men's Snow Ford Knuckle Hunt. In the midst of the Wendy's Men's Snow Ford Knuckle Hunt. So we turn our attention to our current leader, the 20-year-old X Games rookie, Zeb Powell. He went coffin slide backflip, backside rodeo, and touch. Whoa. 
very similar to Jake Cantor's with the 187. 20. Nollies a little bit on it, just like we saw Marcus Cleveland. That Nolly backside 1080. I'm not over that, by the way. Are we not going to talk about the eyewear? So Zeb doesn't like to ride with goggles. He usually never rides with goggles or glasses. But I think we're on the streets. He just found those. He said, "I want to, you know, I want to look different tonight." Amazing. Frank Bourgeois sitting in seventh place, under nine minutes to ride with in the Wendy's Stoneboard Knuckle Hug. Down, oh, Frank! Frank the Tank goes absolutely crazy on that. He'll do one. He'll do one. He's probably gonna do two, though. Very similar to Haldor's, where Haldor lands in that 90 degree position, then front flips here. Frank lands in that 90 degree position, and then it's like a Nolly Rodeo 450. That's, that's the crazy thing, is like, this has never been like a real contest, so these tricks don't have very technical names. It's all kind of, you know. AKA, we don't know the names of some of these tricks. Being made up as we go. Marcus Cleveland, sitting in second place. Blow our minds, Marcus. Are you, are you actually kidding me? Cab seven to tail press to backside 360. He cab seven before he even did another trick. Are you allowed to do that? I don't know. I got it. Like physically, I'm saying. I don't. Like the human form. <laughs> High score. Did I break it? Cabs. Cab seven. Tail press. Back three. How did he? But wait. I. I don't even know if I said that correctly. To be perfectly honest with you, I'm at a loss. How does he do that? Haldor Helgeson. Returning to X Games for the first time since 2014. Wow! Goes deep on that backflip tuck. Oh, buddy! Oh my God! Oh man! He's, he is, what he did is he just got in his car, yeah, put the gas pedal to the absolute metal and said, "I'm just going to ride off the thing." I'm gonna lean backwards. Look at the clearance. Oh, Nolly, I missed it. It was, was Nolly, and look at a Nolly backflip. We saw Marcus Cleveland do that Nolly back 10. This is a Nolly backflip. You pop off your front foot and then initiate a backflip. That's, doesn't make sense. He almost landed in the corral. That, that actually was, doesn't make sense. That was psycho. Rene Renekongas, sitting in fifth place. Zed Powell still leading over Marcus Cleveland. Frigid third. Okay. The new one, you gotta, you gotta really watch these in slow mo because what Rene Renekongas did, he just used his head. He did a backside 360 and put his head on the snow. Watch the helmet. Boink. <laughs> they said if you do this trick wrong, it will literally rip your head off. Thank God Rene didn't lose his. So what does Fridge do for run number three? Get zone. Finding his chi. Currently sitting in that third place position. He's going to need something pretty much psycho if he wants to jump ahead of Marcus Cleveland and Zeb Powell to hold it. Oh my Whoa. God. Was he thinking double? Do you think that he was thinking double? Because I think that you think that he was thinking double. Oh, yeah, he was. He was. He yeah, was. You, you could, could see tell. his reaction. Yeah. Well, that means we'll be in for a treat for his next one. That is crazy. 180. Off the tail, and it was looking like he was going to go. Yep. Switchback double 9 yep. 10 conversation to have here. Oh, because we saw him do that switchback double nine in slope style elimination. So if he does that off a knuckle, I I will just I will just lose my mind, I think. We start back up at the top. Yo. Yo is just creatively attacking this course. He just used the banner as a tail tap. He goes 180. And goes yeah, 540. I got ahead of myself on his last run and said, oh, okay. 
saying hi to the fans. Utilizing hey, foreign back. objects on the course, are we, yo? Uh, I had mentioned that he was in four events. He was actually, this is only his third. Just seems like he's just, he just riding everywhere. everywhere is and the thing. riding on everything. Watch him attack this banner. Watch this. Just with the fans right there. Who wants to see me do a big trick? <laughs> I love the guy's getting yeah, out of the way. Whoa. He's coming for us. Uh, Jake Cantor, who's looked good today, sitting in fifth place. Coming in right before. There we go. In that first run, he did that trick, but he went to 360, so he landed with that right foot forward, took off with it forward here. He takes off that right foot forward, but then pretzels his hips, similar to what we saw Rene Renacongas do. So the rotation wants him to keep going, put that right foot forward, but he has to fight it and put that left one down, which is actually much harder than doing a full 360. Look at those glasses. I'm a fan! Oh! 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 I, he didn't mean that was, okay, wait, what? Oh my goodness. At no point did Zeb Powell look like he was in control of his body during the entirety of that run. But he just stayed on his feet. So he was nose pressing, he kind of catches an edge there, goes down, but watch this. That's us reacting. That's, okay, so that's us watching Zeb do this. <laughs> What's above first place? Yo, so that means Yo's gonna come down, everyone's gonna get one more try. Yo, going yo, off course. Yo, where are ya? Attacks the banner, no banner is safe here tonight. If you're a banner, keep your head up. That's what I love about Yo Azawa. He, he didn't necessarily podium in any of his other events, and he's out here, but he's just like Rene. There's just such a positive energy that's coming with him. And they snowboard with so much yeah, energy. They go. use everything. They go everywhere. I mean, Yo was doing laps on buttermilk outside of the contest at all times. He was always riding. That's what I love to see. So here's Jake Cantor. He drops it. One cap, seven. Very sick from Jake Cantor. Zeb Powell, ladies and gentlemen. Zeb Powell is your first, current leader. He's been in first place the entire time. He can make no mistake. Look at what Marcus Cleveland and Fridge have done. That's true. That's just simply amazing. And a testament to how insane Zeb's been. That was... Very rotational. Right. And a coffin slide into the finish corral. It looked like he touched the snow again with his nose after he took off. The power of Zebulon, very real. <laughs> Here compels you. In Aspen. Frank Bourgeois. He's in seven. Frank B in the trap. What? Frontside 720 Miller fit? Wow. That was sick. Yeah, boys. Okay, so here's Marcus Cleveland. This is his last chance. Uh, uh, this is not a podium event. We do not hand out gold, silver, and metal. We hand out a golden knuckle. That so there's correct. only one winner. How does he generate the pop he does? If he would have landed that, there's no question I think he would have been in first place. Throws the goggles into the crowd. That's Somebody's going home with a some pretty good merch. Yeah. Doesn't get the pop that he quite expected. You can see he didn't get the grab, so he's kind of got to grab the knees and hold the flip there. So will Zeb Powell, our current leader, hold on? Haldor Helgeson. Sitting in fourth. 
<laughs> it's a power stance. It's the sumo approach. And he goes sumo air as well. <laughs> Renner in a congas, he likes it up top. He's losing it. Everybody yep. else is too. <laughs> <laughs> Rene Renekonga sitting in fifth. This is his last attempt here in the Wendy Snowboard Knuckle Hut. But it's Yo. Yo, Yo is in there. Here. Yo is riding this for is Rene. This is some tag team, maybe? Yes, it is. Oh, this is some tag my team. My goodness. Somebody's come. Where did he get a chair from? From the rafters, <laughs> Yo comes down. This is gonna look. It's prop time here in Knucklehawk. No way. Yes! That was so sick. Pull jam back one from Rene Renacongas. Yes! Yes! The people's champ. <laughs> Nobody has had more fun at the X Games than Rene Renacongas. Finds a foreign object, help from a competitor. And he goes, big old pull jam backs at 180. This is an assist right here. Alley oop. It's not like he didn't cut, he came in there hot. I guess we liked it. <laughs> I guess we enjoyed it. I did. I like it a lot. Oh, that was insane. And then there was one. Our defending golden knuckle winner, Fridge. He's, he's trying to show him, what do I do? I need do like a ladder or something. That's the beauty of this contest, Prager. We've got one winner, but uh, everybody's having the time of their lives. Uh, got some more comments coming in. It's official. The knuckle has been hugged until next time. The knuckle has not been hugged quite yet, Wendy's. Slow your roll just for a moment, because we've got one final rider to drop in. And he's kind of a big deal. It's kind of a big deal around these parts here, the bridge. People know me. Sitting in third. Maybe something crazy. Oh! oh! We capped it at the, top, at the top of the show. We showed him go off the spine, knuckle back foot. Here he does it again. That is just, uh, that's a full circle. Does a huge indie, lands on the knuckle, and then just collapses. Throws his head at the snow. And guess what he gets? He gets some knocks! One event, took the lead off of his first run and never looked back. 